Turkey, Spain, Japan or perhaps Turkey. Well, this Saturday in Buenos Aires, the International Olympic Committee will announce the location of the 2020 Olympic Games. Istanbul is in fact a candidate for the fifth time, but this time the Turkish authorities have much higher hopes. It's put its faith in its construction experience, although the ruling party has already clearly stated that if the bid fails, the Gezi Park demonstrators will be to blame. Well, France Van Kat's Fatma Kizi Boga, Kadir Demir and Seville Delin have this report. Hassan Arat is attending yet another photo shoot at the foot of the symbolic Bosphorus Bridge in Istanbul. For the fifth time, the Turkish economic capital is bidding to host the Summer Olympics. Nevertheless, the president of the National Olympic Committee is confident this time they'll win. Istanbul has changed a lot, you know, in uh, the first uh, bid in 1992 our GDP was around 178 billion dollars. Today our GDP is 798 billion dollars and uh, in 2020 is expected 2 trillion dollars. So uh, that shows the dramatic change in the economical side. Turkey's comparatively robust economy makes it a stronger candidate than Madrid or Tokyo whose citizens are critical of the high cost of the games. The Turkish authorities, meanwhile, have promised to invest some 11 billion euros in the lead-up to 2020. Their efforts will be focused on the improvement of public transport in this huge city of 14 million inhabitants. Faced with relentless traffic on the surface, Istanbul is looking for solutions underground. Next month, the government will open the Marmaray, a rail transport tunnel running under the Bosphorus that will connect the European and Asian shores of the city. This innovative scheme has cost around 4 billion euros. Whether or not we host the Olympics, as a modern city, Istanbul has a responsibility to improve its infrastructure and services. The remaining costs will only come to $4 billion. This is a very reasonable and realistic figure in Olympic terms. If Istanbul is named the host city, new sporting facilities would have to be added to those built during previous candidacies. The paradox is that in a country where nearly half of the population is under 25, sport remains virtually inaccessible to the most disadvantaged. Charla Buyukakçay is a member of the Turkish national tennis team. She believes that hosting the Olympics in Istanbul would revive the flame of sport in Turkey. This would boost the performance of Turkish athletes in sport. It would allow Turkey's young people to grow up with Olympic athletes and to take part in a home games. I think it would be a great thing for this country and for developing our culture of sport in general. If Istanbul does not win the bid, the government has no doubt who to blame. The fault would lie squarely with the demonstrations that rocked the country in June. The heart of the so-called Gezi movement beat here, in this municipal park near Taksim. According to the Justice and Development Party, they seriously damaged Turkey's international reputation. As a hotelier, of course I want Istanbul to host the Olympics. But I don't agree that the protest would be to blame if they aren't awarded to us. Yes, they may have had an impact, but the government is also partly responsible. We've been here before. We even built an Olympic village on the Asian shore. We invested a huge amount of money and still never won the Olympics. There were no protests in Gezi then. So whose fault was it? I wonder. Rowing in Europe in the morning, basketball in Asia in the afternoon. This is Istanbul's Olympic proposal. In addition to offering a unique geographic position, Turkey would also be the first predominantly Muslim country to ever host the Olympic Games.